Hello and welcome to Fridge Cat. If you eat food, then this is the show for you. Coming up in the fridge today. I level up bacon sandwiches, I know. Then we have an international food quiz and the forfeit is the world's smelliest food. But first... The smells I've been shopping again and I've come up with some mysterious meats and or extractions from meat-based things. I'm going to feed them to these guys. Do you have to? Now we've done a couple of these before in your own time, you may want to go and check those out. Today, we're improving it based on some feedback. Last time, people said I made them too nice and disguised the flavours with too many other flavour combinations. So today we're keeping it a bit more simple. Secondly, the person directly on my right, I will tell them what it is they're eating. They will be able to see it and they will know. In the middle, they will be able to use their eyes, but they will not know what it is they're eating. The person on the end, will be blindfolded. They'll just be aimlessly putting it in their mouths and hoping for the best. These guys will rotate. First one, mystery meat number one. Now, looks fibrous. Not too bad. It's a long, slow cook. It smells like beef stew. It looks like beef stew. It's got some slight fruitiness in there with a little bit of red currant jelly, some blueberries, but also red wine. Oh. Okay, yeah. Mike, would you like to have a little peek? <laughs> this is what we're eating. That smell, it smells like Guinness. Yeah, it's quite Guinness, okay. isn't it? Okay. Starting easy. Oh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's elk. Is it? Yeah. It's, that's not too bad. Wait, what's an elk? I've got an either. I've an elk. Okay, number two. The big reveal. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> that looks like you fashioned it yourself. <laughs> I, I thought it was that. I honestly thought it was going to be that. Okay, oh, so this has okay. been oven roasted with oregano, cumin, like salt those. and oil. I like all And those. we're serving it with a Peruvian pesto. Give me a hand. Oh, oh. oh what? <laughs> Why is it like that? Oh, it's got hairs on it. No, Look don't say that. that. Oh, oh, there are hairs all over it. Dig in in three, three two, two, one. What is it? It's a squirrel. Oh, is that squirrel? <laughs> Take your blindfold off, Jay, have a look. Oh, no! So this was the closest I could get to, guinea pig. Okay. So in Peru, in Peru, they serve this often with roasted guinea pig, and the closest I could get in the UK, I thought, would be something like a squirrel. Number three, and for this one, portion size is a teaspoon. Oh! Okay, cool. Okay. I think I'm okay with that. I'm not sure yet. These have been oven dried with a few curried spices. So I have masked some of the flavour, not all. Oh, no. Okay, they're not quite what you think. No. What? I know what you think they are, but they're not quite that. And there's the crunch. Absolutely fine. They smelt worse earlier on when we didn't apply the curry paste oh. or curry spices. They are, in fact, the larvae of moth. They're oh, moths. So they would eventually have become a moth. I ate a butterfly just then. No, a moth. <laughs> oh, they are <laughs> grim. That was actually a benefit. Yeah. <laughs> I've been subscribed to you for ages, but I see now that YouTube have unsubscribed me. Thanks, Obama. Whack it in the oven, whack it into the fridge. Boys, I think you've done enough whacking in your lives. Please keep it away from the food. <laughs> Oh. I need more James. This isn't satisfying. I don't know how to react to that, but um Ta-da. Mike has become so fat. <laughs> yeah. Some comments you just can't argue with. <laughs> Number four. That's not a portion size. That's not a portion size. No. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do well here. Right, come on, let's just do them. Ready? Three, two, one, in you go. Uh, I can't get my mouth. 
I can't listen to that. Nah. <coughs> I couldn't do that. So they are considered a little bit chewy. I know what it is. Can I have a guess? Yeah. Is it a chicken heart? I'm impressed. It absolutely is. Because I've had that chicken. before. In a Brazilian restaurant, we had it and they carve it at the table and they come around with skewers. And this is marinated. Oh, I'm glad. I'm, yeah, that helped. <laughs> that really helped. Number five. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What I did first was boil it rapidly. And then once you boil it rapidly, about 15 minutes, you can ski, you can kind of peel off the outer skin and then dip it in vinegar. The distilled vinegar helps to get rid of something, I'm not entirely sure what. Then a long, long slow cook. This was eight hours in an aromatic broth. Now, I'm not gonna lie, not that aromatic, so you can still taste what it is. Proud of you. <laughs> oh, don't do that, why would you do that? <laughs> so look. Stop it! Just put your hand out. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so weighty. <laughs> You know what it is. Three, ah, two, one, ah, go. Ah, this, this is the reaction you want. There we go. Actually, he's not so keen either. Mike is just battling through. Well, these guys could see it, so they know it's tongue. Okay. It came from a pig. Did you stick a pig's tongue in my ear? <laughs> you can take it off now, Jay. You technically French kissed it. Oh, that is not pretty, is it? The final one, number six. Now, the previous five, I have prepared and tasted as I've gone along. This dish, I had a few years back, and I am never eating it again. I'm going to go prepare it. In the meantime, Jamie's going to level up a bacon sandwich. It's now really the right time to level up. I don't want sandwich. bacon. I, I've never, I never thought I'd say this, but I don't want a bacon sandwich right now. Welcome to Level Up. This is where we take an everyday dish and with a few simple tips and tricks, show you how you can take it and level up. Because we're not chefs. We're, we're normal. normal. Please tell me it's not just add more bacon. It's not just add more bacon. We're going to start with maple syrup in a bowl mixed with a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Lay your bacon out on a tray and brush it with the sauce. Heat a large frying pan over a high heat. Lay the bacon into the pan, sauce side down, and turn the heat down to a medium high. Fry for three to five minutes until the bacon is just starting to blacken in places. Turn the bacon and repeat. Give me a second. Got a little bakery and farmyard down there. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to butter our bread. Is that only way Jamie knows how? <laughs> All the butter. Transfer the bacon onto the buttered side of the bread, making sure that you angle the bacon to get maximum coverage. Sandwich the bread and spread butter over the top side of the sandwich. Return the bacon pan to a medium heat and place the sandwich into the pan, butter side down. Fry for a minute whilst pressing down with a spatula. Butter the face-up bread and flip, cooking for another minute before removing the sandwich from the heat. Slice into quarters. And that, boys, is how you take a bacon sandwich a level up. And I think we should put that through the sections, don't you? Put it in my mouth. <laughs> put it in my hand, please. Oh. That doesn't need ketchup, brown sauce, or salad cream. That is amazing. I'm making this. That is phenomenal. Well done. Thank you. Well done, mate. Thank Truly you. a level up. Well done. Oh, do you know what the worst thing is? I just remembered where we've got to go back to now. Great level up. Sandwich was awesome. Are we ready? No. Oh, I just want to savour the taste of a bacon sandwich for a little bit longer. Number six. Can we all blind us, blindfold ourselves? Yeah. Here it is. It is. It's that. It's that. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. No! No! Is it that flipping half-cooked, born little... Ch that? Oh, what is it? Is it that half-born chicken thing oh. in the egg? Oh, what was that? That smells like eggy. I don't want to do it. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Why, why have you served it in porridge? 
Oh. It's on a nice bed of congee, which I've beautifully seasoned, partly cooked in chicken stock. I actually feel like I want to cry. And you'll be glad to know I've cut it into four, so you only have to do a quarter each. Give me your left hand, and I'm going to put the handle of the spoon in it. That is so heavy. I can't even smell it without gagging. Definitely won't get ill from this. Definitely unlikely to get ill from this. Three, two, one, go. So the thing with century eggs is they're preserved in a combination of salt, lime and ash for several months. And in that time, it changes the pH to a point where the whole texture changes. The white becomes nice and gelatinous. Inside, the yolk almost like the texture of cheese. Preserved for months to come. Egg. <laughs> Exotic meat party and other excretions that have come from meat-based animals. Number three, shortage. Now consider this. That video contained seven recipes, but I think you're only going to want to make one of them. So if you want to find out how to level up your bacon sandwich, head to sortedfood.com for the full details. And remember, we have done a few other exotic meat parties. By all means, check those out, but do be careful. Equal amounts of spittooning. Uh, remember, do subscribe, because usually we will make you hungry. Usually. Do you know what, Jamie? I think that fridge cam had everything. It had some serious bacon highs. It had some very unusual parts of animals we wouldn't normally eat within these four walls. I would call them lows. So okay. The highs and the lows. The highs and the lows. And it's about to have an international food quiz where the loser is going to have to eat the smelliest food in the world. This is nasty. But until next time, goodbye. Do we, ha do, we, do we have to do this now? Well, it depends on how clever you are as to whether it's a problem. I've already got a dicky tummy.